That is some seriously good shit yep. right there. I mean, that's a watermark in my mind for, I mean, it brings, makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on, on, and so many went from everybody, from Quentin and what he wrote to um, Sally Menke, his late great editor, the initial part of that scene when those cuts back and forth. She was, she was uh, I mean, one of the best. And in the initial cutting, when it's the, the single shots back and forth, yes. that shouldn't work. Somebody says something back and forth, back and forth. But she does it with grace. Every beat is taken care of. It doesn't feel overcutty. These little punctuations that he does, that grabbing the coffee cup is so beautiful. And then when they sit down and you see these two people, these two people of a certain age and they talk about it out front and out in the open to have a movie that's so cool and so breezy about middle-aged people who are you know f feel the clock ticking you yeah. know um at least she does and to have that dialogue which is so beautifully written and so perfectly acted with such Grace and delicacy and sweetness and Robert Forster. I mean, that's one about of the it. greatest performances yeah, in the yeah. history of cinema. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope it's just, just, just gush and gush up here. Yeah. But it, it from 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 uh, I consider Quentin up here, but as a as I you know I don't in a, but to look I say that is a watermark for 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 how to shoot a scene and and take care of a scene with delicacy and grace and just compassion and. That, that slow zoom in he does on the side there as she's mm -hmm. talking about, oh, fucking, I don't know where I'm at, you know? I don't yeah. know what's coming. Beautiful film, beautifully done. Yeah, and also the way that he frames her profile, that's throughout the movie, right? Yeah, you know, he just, does a lot of that. Well, I mean, you know, I don't blame him. If I, you know, yeah. he had a profile yeah. to shoot. You, yeah, like, really. Look, yeah. She's so beautiful. <laughs> um, and, I, and all that dialogue's so, so real, too. It's just like, yeah, you, you, she does look exactly how she did look. And... I'm sure her ass is bigger and all that, but it's 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 you you feel you feel the connection of Quentin to, to the, the the writer to his material, but it's not overly written. It's it's the, those characters speaking and um, and and it's so simple. Mm -hmm. There's nothing going on there. It's an apartment and a fucking breakfast nook. Yep. You know what else do you again? What else do you need? Yep. Um, just lovely like that, and the music's pitched just perfectly and just right and mixed just right. Lovely stuff. It's the first 45 I ever bought. Delphonics? <laughs> yeah. Was it really? Yeah, it was 11 years old. Um, <laughs> That's yeah. very good taste. Yeah, well. For a young 11 year old. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, great. And Quentin is someone else who sticks to film. Yeah, and who's, who's, and who's actually about to shoot in seventy? As That's well. right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah Quentin's Quentin's a, Quentin's a film nerd too, I suppose. We're all a small group of us, it's hopefully growing and sticking together. Quentin's much more vocal about it, though. I mean, he wants mm -hmm. to like, you know, he wants to like tar and feather people who shoot yeah. digital. Yeah. <laughs> like, like turn it into wants to turn it into one of his movies. Like, I'm gonna cut your fucking ear off yeah. if you shoot digital. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Which would and that would include the the director of our opening night film, David Fincher, who, for him, he could he could see film disappear tomorrow. And he's, right, right. You know, he's, and, he's uh, yeah, got a very articulate argument for the other side of it, and and I stay out of it. Yeah, I stay out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fade into the background on that. <laughs> well. Yeah, but you. I certainly have thrown my hat into the ring for yeah. what I like, but I also just can't. I I also did. I find it difficult to to get on anybody if it's what their if it's yeah. their bag, you know. And I'm like, you know, it's your bag, you know. You're into it. Yeah. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you what to do. I don't want you to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. You know. I, I but I I think I think at at the moment things are going around where genuinely there's such concern and fear in the air about. Yeah. Film not even being an option. Yeah, that right. there, there, there really is a movement among filmmakers right now to, re to desperately encourage um, filmmakers that are coming up, filmmakers that are around and are and are producing stuff right now. To if you have a choice, please shoot film. That there is no financial uh, incentive to shooting digitally if you're at yeah. a certain budget level. It, that you know, obviously, it's very e it's much much m easier for younger filmmakers to sort of pick up a camera and get yes. something done without a lot of costs and a lot of 